Hey there. <clears throat> wow, let's try that again. <laughs> hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for December 28, 2023. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Sagittarius, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? Okay. Also, I do Sagittarius readings every Thursday, so make sure you come back next Thursday for your Sagittarius reading, okay? <clears throat> also, if you are a Libra or if you're an Aries, you can check out the other readings for today. I do Aries readings every single day, and I do the other signs one day a week, so... This is going to be for the week of December 28th, okay? <laughs> so I can't remember um, exactly what, um, what day it ends on, but, you know, it's going to be into the new year. So you guys are going to be ready. I think it's like January 3rd or 4th or something, 28th or 9th, 30th or I don't know, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to get too far into that. All right, let's see what spirits got for you. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. Oh, we had some pop outs too. Chariot charging ahead. <clears throat> You're charging ahead through something here. I think I might just take, I think this might be the reading, okay? This might be it right here. Usually I pull three cards anyway, you know? All right, in the... <clears throat> Excuse me. In the past here, we have the chariot, okay? This is some kind of charging ahead, usually represents some kind of victory. Uh, the chariot's charging, like, towards something, all right? Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, I use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I use this as a quick reference guide, even though I know what these cards mean, okay? I just like to read it sometimes to get a complete and accurate depiction. depiction I said, almost said the picture, okay? Get a complete and accurate depiction for what is going on for you. It says victory, but more righteous victory without having to sacrifice one's morals or personal beliefs. This is a card of strength. You don't win because you got lucky. You win because you are good at what you do and or you have powerful friends and resources. You succeed because you keep your animalistic rages under the control of your disciplined and highly skilled mind. You harness the power of masculine and feminine <clears throat> and you are steadfast and resolute in your quest. Of course, sometimes this card can also simply mean a brand new car or some long distance travel. In either case, however, it will be spelled out by clarifying minor arcana cards. So let's clarify. So some of you may be doing some traveling as well, or maybe you got something new here in the recent past, okay? Um, let's clarify this chariot card for Sagittarius in the past, please. Show me the cards that I need to see. You're definitely um, charging ahead though, all right? moving forward from something or towards something clarify chariot for sagittarius in the past please let me get one more card one two three four okay boom shakalaka Ooh. Ooh. don't freak out we're gonna clarify okay <laughs> we got ten of cups reversed ace of pentacles reversed and the seven of swords okay so Ten of Cups reverse usually indicates some kind of like family or maybe possibly love situation not working out or not working out the way you want it to. Okay, something like this going on. So with the Ten of Cups reverse, I will read it for you. Broken dreams, illusion of happiness, disruption of the home, loss of security or home ownership, broken marriages and dysfunctional families. Then with the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Delays in getting paid, missed opportunities, not getting the big raise. Being written out of the inheritance, warning not to speculate or gamble, time to conserve your money. Okay, so, and then we have the Seven of Swords, which represents someone like this, like a thief in your camp, or someone that's trying to take something from you, or kind of um, just someone that's bad for your energy. If it's not like a thief, it could be like talking about you. Sorry about that. I keep getting messages from somebody. The easiest association is a thief in your camp, a false friend, that's what I was trying to get at, somebody that's like not good for your energy, a false friend, backstabbing and machinations against you by cowards, outright theft and general deception. Usually this is the case. 
In more esoteric readings, this card will indicate some clever action taken to circumvent an, assist, an existing situation for personal gain, or the act of using an oppressor's own words and devices against them and getting away with it. In any case, this card almost always deals directly with the issues of deception and schemes or manipulation. Usually the answer will be fairly obvious. Let's use, let's use the other deck here because we have the charging ahead. <clears throat> Alright, and with this going on, Sagittarius... I'm kind of getting that you are powering through whatever this situation is. You're not letting anything hold you down or hold you back. You are just powering through whatever this is, okay? What is this past situation for Sagittarius? What is this having to deal with? One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, we have the world card. Seven of Swords again, and the Two of Cups. So, somebody betrayed you, or like definitely someone that's trying to, or stole something from you, or took something from you. <clears throat> Accomplishment, success, completion, synthesis, perfection, recognition, and mastery. Or someone was trying to trick you in some kind of way. I feel like this is, again, like some kind of family situation, where like maybe your family, someone in your family, or your family t togetherness or something like did something in order to come up together and like do something wrong i don't know something like this is going on uh it has to do with a love situation okay like someone took something from you took a lover from you i don't know this is kind of really all over the place okay someone especially with the ten of cups reversed some kind of family situation was blocked here because somebody didn't like someone that you were around or with or wanted to be with somebody that made you happy okay and so they came up with some kind of plan in order to guard against deceit and concealment dishonesty betrayal strategy tactics trickery and low self-esteem it's like they put put you in some kind of situation to trick you or um get you away from whoever this person is that's what i'm getting from this reading okay Open your heart and receive love from others. Balance, attraction, partnership, harmony, mirth, equality, balance, and connection. So this is somebody you have a very strong connection to or connection with. And um, I'm not getting that... Uh, I don't think it's going to be that easy for your family or whatever to keep you away from this person. You have a very strong connection with them. Let me get one more card. I'm just going to pull the one from the top. Four of Wands reverse. Yeah, this is some kind of family situation that was blocked, okay? Or a family situation blocked a love connection for you or something like this here, or vice versa. I don't know, okay? In the present, we have the Five of Swords reversed, okay? So this is an end to subjugation, freedom from oppression, I think is what it states. An end to subjugation, freedom from oppression. Conflict resolution comes after someone has the nerve to stand up to false authority. More than likely, this will be a concerted team effort rather than any one individual. So I feel like you in the present here, especially with the swords, because swords represent the mental, had the audacity. Oh, and now you're healing, okay? <laughs> had the... <laughs> you stood up to whatever this is, and you stopped um, allowing whatever this is to control you, all right? So subjugation is the act of, of bringing someone or something under domination or control, and then, oppress and, and then oppression is prolonged, cruel, or unjust treatment or control. So... I feel like you stopped whatever this is, okay, and now you're happy and you're healing, okay, very good, very good, happy healing, what else, let me get one more card, let me get one more, one, two, three, four, okay, yeah, these people don't want to come up against you anymore, or at least they're, maybe they know it's a bad idea to try to come up against you because they know what the outcome is, I feel like they've tried it a couple of different times, this doesn't seem like the very first time this has happened, Sagittarius, and now these people are trying to come up against you, okay, or or they know not to try to come up against you because of all the times they've tried in the past, it just has not worked, okay? Three of Swords reverse is swift, healthy recovery after surgery, rectifications of injuries sustained, sustained, emotional healing after brutal heartache, restitutions offered under command of authority figures, okay? And then the Sun card, this is like a very happy card, okay? This is Leo energy, you might have Leo somewhere in your, somewhere in your chart maybe. All right. Success, usually after struggle, more specifically, energy and intent is being offered to you from various sources. 
This can be divine intervention, creative inspiration, physical assistance from others, loans of any sort, sound advice, etc. You are in the spotlight. People and things are looking to help you at this time, but you must be alert to opportunity and aid if you, if you are to accept the goodies in store for you. Destiny is an opportunity, not a guarantee. Never forget that, okay? So you have the opportunity, okay, for some kind of, um, to fulfill your destiny, okay? You're going to be granted the opportunity at this time to fulfill something that you want to do, Sagittarius, in order to make yourself happy. These people can't control you anymore. I feel like they know that. I feel like you know that. Everybody knows, okay? So, like, there's no need to, I mean, there's, there's nothing holding you back. You know what I'm saying? There's just, like, you're, you're healing, okay? You have success, um, and then you have, like, the opportunity, so, to fulfill your destiny. Seven of Wands, it says, don't expect an easy victory. In fact, victory at all may not be possible along the present course. Sometimes it is best to retreat and find more solid ground. Occasionally, this card may indicate weakness or paranoia. So you may feel like or like have some kind of uh, doubts as to something here or taking some kind of new leap of faith or something here. All right, you might be having doubts. Um, but the thing is, you don't need to worry about the success. The only thing you need to worry about is something that you may need to change in order to obtain the success, okay? So there's something here that needs to be be a little different. Something needs to change or become a little different here in order to abstain. Ab <laughs> I almost said abstain, okay? So in order to obtain whatever success that you are looking for, all right? Um, something's, you got to change, and it, and it is like seven is wands, which is fire. So you need to do something different in your energy in order to get the success that you want, okay? One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Clarify the situation for Sagittarius. Clarify the situation for Sagittarius in the present. All right, we have the Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles reversed, Six of Cups reversed, and the Queen of Wands reversed. Okay. So it looks like Sagittarius, you're holding on tightly. Okay, I wouldn't say tightly, but you're definitely holding on to something that did not work out in the past. This is something that emotionally is like you're still hurt about this, okay? It says, feel your grief, but know that things will get better, okay? Knight of Pentacles reverse. This could be someone in your energy. It could be you. Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody sees you as this possibly, or you're dealing with someone like this. It says, lack of courage. I've, I don't think I've ever seen this word before. <laughs> it says, avaricious. Avaricious, okay? Jealous, grasping, unreliable, obsession with work, and stubborn. So you could be dealing with somebody like that. Maybe that's how you're feeling, okay? Take it as it resonates. Feel free to reverse the roles. Flip it where you need to go, okay? Strife arising from vanity, thanklessness, cynicism, independence, and unforgiveness, okay? I feel like you could be upset about a past situation where people or someone in your energy or, you, or multiple people in your energy is not thankful or you feel like people are not thankful for something that you were there for with them or did for them or something like that. Aggressive, demanding, dramatic, obstinacy, jealousy, deceit, and self-doubt. Okay, if this is something from the past that you're still dealing with here, Sagittarius, this is something that you're going to have to let go of in order to move forward, okay? Because this is creating a blockage, okay? This is where all this resistance is. If you've been feeling a lot of resistance with moving forward and all this is because you're holding on to all of this from the past and you're not able to continue moving forward because of it. like, let me get one more card to clarify to pull this all together. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is again, some kind of unhappy family life. Okay. Either with a lover or with your immediate family or something like this, maybe your extended family even. Okay. For some of you, this is some kind of unhappy family life or something that you are still holding on to very tightly and it's causing a blockage in order for you to move forward. If you're wondering how to let go of this, okay, because you could be like, well, how do I let go of that? This is very real to me. This is exactly how I feel. The way you let go of it is focusing on something in front of you, okay? So focus on what you can do, what you can control, which is yourself, okay? And that's what I've, I've had to learn this very much in my life, okay? I have to focus on myself in order to get through things in my past that I have had a hard time getting, getting through. I'm not making the, the reading about me. I'm not trying to do that. And I'm sure that it's not easy for you, Sagittarius, okay? And it's, it's, it's a lot easier said than done, but, you know, this is where certain things like crocheting or um, doing something with your hands, you know, they say the um, idle hands are the devil's playground, you know, this is where doing something with your hands can come in handy. 
doing something like uh, using your hands, like, uh, I don't know, working, crocheting, uh, sewing, um, drawing, or writing, writing. It's always good to have a journal and write, write about how you feel and get as much up of this out from up here down. Okay, get it out. And the more you do that, the more you can see that you have a lot more room up here. You don't feel as stuck. Okay, so I just want to throw that out here for somebody. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay. Boom shakalaka. The ability to manifest something from nothing. I haven't read the Ace of Wands in a while, and it is kind of like a long passage, but I'm going to go ahead and read it. Okay, first off, this is a very Aries card. Actually, I'm just going to read down to... The sheer audacity required to say I am and force yourself into existence is often downright barbaric, but, is the, but it is the most powerful impact in all of reality. It is explosive and pushy, rude, and even obnoxious, but it is the only way to drag anything from the ether into reality. This card represents that wild, untamed, explosive energy that unleashes new onto the world. That new is often described by accompanying cards, new ideas, actions, beliefs, habits, cars, spouses, etc. But this is just the catalyst to change. Keep that in mind when this card comes up in your spreads, all right? This is the future. This is what you have to look forward to, okay, Sagittarius? It says, this is the card of new beginnings, enterprises, calculated risks, or taking renewed action after a period of rest. It is the energy similar to the sun in Aries and is inspirational and highly motivational. This card also often signifies opportunities that you have to jump at and actions that require physical effort. All in all, it is a very positive card, but it can be combative due to a sympathetic and forceful energy, okay? So, whoa. All right, so let's clarify Ace of Wands for Sagittarius in the future, okay? Whoa. Clarify Ace of Wands for Sagittarius in the future. What is this new beginning? What is this calculated risk that Sagittarius is going to be doing? One, two, three, four, okay? Yes. All right, King of Wands reversed. The world and the lovers reversed, okay? All right, so I want to read the King of Wands reverse because we got the same thing. I think it was in the present, right? Or no, it was the Queen of Wands reverse in the present. So did I get it somewhere else though? I feel like I got this somewhere else. No. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yo, yes. <laughs> no, yes, no. Okay. Tyrant, rude, bully, domineering boss, violent criminal, self-obsessed megalomaniac, basically a real jerk. Could also represent a glory-seeking posure masquerading as the positive side of this card. Alternatively, this card reverse could show possible misfortune to an otherwise good man. Okay. So this could be someone that you're dealing with. This could be um, someone that is in your energy looking at you like this. Okay. Um, we have the lovers reversed and the world and the upright. So... The world is a happy card, okay? The lover's reversed is like some kind of separation of love, usually, between you, usually a significant other, or maybe someone that you care for very deeply. Okay, lover's reversed, pain, then more pain. In fact, so much pain. Okay, it's not pretty. This shows separations of all sorts, divorces, broken packs, false friends, job loss. It is the removal of one from the source of life and happiness. Again, it needs to be clarified by other cards to figure out how and why. Um, the world, I'm going to have to use the other deck to clarify this because this is all over the place. Like this one, they don't even, because the world is happy and then the lover's reverse is very much painful and sad. So what is going on with that? I can't find the world. Where is it at? Where the world is a world at? <laughs> okay. The world, excuse me. This is a very happy card on the physical level. At its most basic, it represents the, the pampered and the idle rich, those wonderfully happy people born into generational wealth who have nothing better or worse to do than play all day and wonder how they will play all night as well. It truly is the world at your feet. The key to this card is that it is evolution on so many levels of meaning that it can easily apply to any situation. It is extremely ambiguous and all but demands clarif clarification. Of course, this is, another, this is another completion card, but as noted, it is... It is a card of evolution from one state to another. The alchemical correspondence is that of transmuting lead into gold. The base chemical composition is almost identical, but the elemental change is eclipsed by the perceived value change. In the same way, you stay who you are, but become something much more valuable, valuable through this card. This is the ultimate happily ever after card, okay? I feel like you find... The new beginning here is finding some kind of happiness after a separation, okay? That's the only, that's the clearest 
message that I can get from this, this future reading here, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to use the other deck to clarify, <clears throat> because it's, I mean, that was like an oxymoron. I mean, that was that didn't make no sense at all. <laughs> like, icy hot. That's an oxymoron, okay? So that was, you know, I just don't. Anyway, it could be someone that's very annoying or just like always in your ear or something like that. Because I got this dog barking back here. I don't know if y'all can hear it. All right, but this, this, this bad boy, his name is Tiger, okay? Tiger is just, woo. It's like he's fucking, what's that dude's name? Carter? <laughs> He's like Carter in that Jackie Chan movie, using Tiger Teeth, okay? So I don't know, Tiger using them teeth out there right now. Deceitful, tyrannical, crafty, imprudent, unpredictable, and disorganized. You're dealing with someone like this. Um, might possibly be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, since it's a swords that popped out, Knight of Swords. Um, someone with like a, I don't know, if they're seeing you as the King of Wands in the reversal, I mean, they're seeing you as higher than they are, even if it's in the negative aspect. Something like this going on, let me get three more. One, two, and <laughs> you said tag it to you. I don't know. <laughs> Let me get three more. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So the Emperor reversed, the Three of Wands reversed, and the Chariot reversed. So, whoa. Okay. Failure to lead, ineffectiveness, immaturity, weakness, unreasoning, and overbearing. You're dealing with someone like this. We have arrogance, obstinate, obstinacy, delays, treacherous obstacles, and misorganization. Unsuccessful, defeat, lo loss at the last minute, negativity, and confusion. Somebody's really trying to hold you back and keep you stuck in some kind of way, too, with the, the chariot reverse. To someone that's like a ruler, but they're not a good ruler, it's like the, it's like more like a controller, okay? You got somebody that's like thinking you're an Xbox, and they're like, or PS four or whatever you guys play i don't know i don't play video games so i mean i don't know what else to say about that <laughs> sorry if you do i'm not judging you i just i don't i don't I, all right every time i used to play video games all the time and i used to love doing it but i got to a certain point in my life uh where every time i sit down and try to play i just feel like i gotta be doing something else like i feel very anxious about it so now it's hard for me to play it just takes all the fun out of it so one two three four um let me get let me get two more to try to clarify. What is this talking about? One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, you get unstuck from the, yeah. And then we got eight and eight popped out. Eight of swords reversed and eight of pinnacles. So we have any other eights out here? I'm also eight years old, so. <laughs> Could be seeing eight, eight, eight a lot possibly for some of you, okay. That doggy out there, woo. Got to my, all right, so. Freedom to choose self-created boundaries, new perspective, external limitations, okay? Eight of Swords Reverse is like a release. Usually, I think it's an emotional release, okay? But, okay, this could mean one of two things. You're getting out of this situation and moving forward, or you're working very hard to get out of the situation. One of the two things, okay? Escape or release from anything that has been holding you down so far. A chance for freedom is coming. Re-entering society. And then Eight of Pentacles is working very hard. So I feel like that's what you're working for. Okay? So. Hope that resonates with somebody out there. Because I ain't trying to clarify that no further. <laughs> okay? So, um, yeah. If this is you, Sagittarius. Like, this is gonna. This is a pretty clear-cut reading. Um, if it's not for you, I feel like you would know pretty soon. If it is, then, you know, I feel like you would know. So. My heart goes out to you, Sagittarius. I hope you figure out this situation with whatever or whoever this is. This could be family, could be friends, could be a work scenario, could be a lover. Something like this going on, okay? It's not looking too good. All right. <laughs> Big Bubba Mac, spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. One, two, three, four. We have breath work, yep. Could be feeling a lot of uh, emotions at this time, possibly anger or anxiety. <sighs> time to do some breath work in order to get through those emotions, because trust me, I understand. Okay, you ain't the only one. So do some breath work. Um, usually breath work is breathing in for like a three count, breathing out for double that you breathe in. So if you breathe in for three, breathe out for six. If you breathe in for four, breathe out for eight. If you breathe in for two, breathe out for four. You can do it however you want to. Like. Okay, that's how you get it under control, really quick. One, two, three, four. 
We have gray area. Yeah, you're in some kind of gray area here or feel like you're stuck in some kind of gray area with someone or someone feels that way with you. And they're not sure how to move forward here. Something like that going on. One, two, three, four. Singer. You could be a singer or maybe you like to sing. Maybe you sing in the shower or sing in the car or yeah, somebody out here is a singer or someone that you're dealing with is something like that. One, two, three, four. We have tape. Okay, somebody could be looking at um, like a video of you or you have, you're looking at a video of recording of someone or someone's like trying to hold something together like with tape here you know like uh doesn't work out one two three four okay sacral chakra somebody's stuck like in one of the this is the second to the lowest chakra so that's probably why i feel like someone's trying maybe to like move forward or, or bring themselves out of the low chakra here but they're still like in a very low chakra that's probably why they are the way they are or something like this okay one, two, three, four. We have ancestor or ancestors. Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, your ancestors have your back here, okay? Your ancestors and your spirit team are on your side and they're fighting battles for you in the dark that you don't even know about, okay? So somebody needs to hear that, okay? What else? One, two, three, four. Third eye chakra. There's something here that you see, like you know, okay? With your third eye here, your Peruvian eye, there's something that you can see. Like, especially probably if someone is lying to you or something like that, you probably know when people are lying to you, okay? I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know why I picked up on that, but I did. So, what else? One, two, three, four. There's computer. You could be watching this through a computer. Maybe you just got a new computer for Christmas, okay? Um, or maybe there's some kind of, like, video recording on a computer that you watch or something like that, okay? And this keeps coming up as this, this the second card. This is like the second or third time I've seen root chakra here, which means somebody's stuck in a very low chakra. It also represents unhealed childhood trauma. What else? We have listen, Big Bubba Mac. Listen to what I'm about to say. The next three cards are going to be significant for you. Every time I get a listen or a pay attention card, I pull three cards. So now I'm going to pull five more cards, okay? date night something could be happening around date night maybe somebody's asking you on a date or you're asking someone on a date or something about date night is significant here okay love this could be with someone that you have a lot of love for or they have a lot of love for you or something about love is significant here love situation love dynamic okay king you could be seeing someone as a king or someone sees you as a king or maybe you have a bearded dragon named king because I do. He's right over there. <laughs> okay, just playing. Anyways, um, somebody, something about a king is significant here. You might be in king energy, whether you're male or female. Okay, very good. Very good card to have. One, two, three. Got two more. Sage. You might need to get some sage or sage your area. Okay, it's like cleansing your space. Uh, sage is always very good to have. I try to keep it handy at all times. Okay, you can call me the sage master. And we have candle. Okay, maybe <laughs> you need to get a Maybe you need to get a candle, um, uh, or maybe you light candles, or maybe you're lighting a candle in someone's name or something like that, okay? Some about candle. All right, let's get a message from the Ancestor Oracle card before we close out today. If this message is resonating with someone so far, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? You better believe it. I'm going to do some of that today right now actually give me one second on this way ancestors spirit guides god angels archangel michael show me the cards that i need to see for sagittarius today please santa baby okay healer and compassion whoever i'm speaking to you're a healing person you're very compassionate you have a lot of love to give okay what else? One, two, three, four. Peacekeeper and serenity. You're a very serene person and you like to try to keep the peace. Okay. One, two, three, four. We have holy one and inspiration. You could be someone that inspires other people. You could be a holy person. You could be of the light or you need to, or possibly you're getting some kind of inspiration by someone that is holy. One, two, three, four. We have plant and seeding. Okay. You could be someone that has a garden or you like to plant things a lot or you have a lot of plants or you have some new ideas that are coming into fruition let me get one more one two three four also holy one and inspiration again on the bottom <clears throat> let's shuffle this one more time okay i love how shaman and spirit guide is on the split yeah and holy one and inspiration wow you, you see that you see what i'm talking about shaman and spirit guide and holy one and inspiration man you came to the right place baby okay <laughs> okay let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. This is the card they would like you to see for today. 29, 29 on the clock, which is 11, 11, which is a portal. And boom, shakalaka. I mean, 
I'm locked in, man. I don't know what else to tell you. Okay, spirit, spirit, spirit team on my back. <laughs> spirit team got my back over here. All right, they on my side. All right, they're sitting over here like Caleb McDowell, you the one. <laughs> okay, came to the right place. I mean, if that if that doesn't get at least one subscribe, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, I'm <laughs> just kidding. All right, <clears throat> first I'll read what the card means, and then I'll read what your ancestors are trying to say to you today through me drawing this card. All right, the word shaman comes from the Evinki tribe in Siberia and means one who sees in the dark or one who knows, and it has become more widely known in the Western world over the last few decades. Though called by different names depending on the culture, the terms the term implies the ability to receive guidance and inspiration through various manifestations of spirit, such as animals, plants, ancestors, dreams, and journeys into non-ordinary reality. <clears throat> In doing so, the shaman applies this information for the benefit of the community. The shaman is a healer, teacher, herbalist, philosopher, psychiatrist, and storyteller all in one. In indigenous communities, they typically carried a breadth, breadth and depth of knowledge and wisdom that came from a long-standing tradition and were intimately familiar with both the physical and spiritual realms. One fundamental operating principle in shamanic work is that of direct revelation, which means receiving a guidance straight from spirit guides. Lately, many more are being called to shamanic practices as a means to help us remember who we really are and our place as human beings in relation to all other beings on this planet. That is what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. They are saying, due to constrictions that have embedded the... <clears throat> Due to constrictions that have embedded themselves in your consciousness because of earlier indoctrinations, religious or otherwise, you have come to be skeptical and distrustful of anything to do with receiving guidance and messages from spirit guides. Any number of fears can be activated. Messages that come to you get ignored or rebuked as just your imagination, and others may disapprove of a philosophy and practice that's different from the status quo. Yet, it's time. Time to learn to trust that the world is alive and enchanted, that imagination is simply the bridge to perceiving a world beyond the ordinary, and that spirit truly can reveal guidance directly with no need for an intermediary. Your powers of discernment are growing in leaps and bounds such that you can more readily tell the difference between the voice of the ego and the voice of spirit. Stay the course and get support if needed for opening up to this way of life that offers a renewed relationship with Mother Earth and all her children. Remember who you really are and that you are profoundly and intimately related to all beings, both visible and non-visible. Okay? Time to listen to the call, Sagittarius. Okay? <clears throat> so this is Spirit saying that um, whatever like past relationship with you have to spirit uh, is probably blocking you from listening to any type of advice that may be new or something that's different from where you get advice from um, so it might just be time to try to hear hear somebody or something else out okay that's the best the best way I can say it without like hurting anyone's feelings okay so this is going to be the end of your reading for today Sagittarius um, just to let you guys know, my personal readings are still half off from now until New Year's. So if you would like to reach out to me for a personal reading, um, you can find that information in the description box below. I am still trying to push my TikTok account. So if you guys would like to follow me on TikTok, please do that. Okay. Um, that's going to be in the description box below. It is called Stay Sober and Challenge. Okay. So you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram is down there as well. That is Caleb Cleans the Earth. Uh, thank you so much for the new like, share, subscribes, and comments. It really does help out the channel, okay? Um, thank you for the super thanks down in the description box and for the people that donate to the channel as well. You guys are amazing, all right? Love you guys so much. Make sure to come back next Thursday for a new reading from me. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, guys, love yourself first.